I am uh, Adisa De Ogadamagbe, an indigenous of Abangba community, and at the same time, a resident of Abangba community. This uh, solar borehole, as we are all seeing it here, and one of the beneficiaries. We came down here, having it installed, we don't need battery, any backup battery at all. We just need our solar panels. We have eight of them and the borehole is already dug. We have the ground force pump which is installed in the pump and above our head is 80,000 liters uh, tank. And so as long as there is sun, just a little bright fair weather can still have this solar panel worked with the pump. Something like a table just being placed somewhere and it will now be a source of uh, power. And I look at the platform, uh, the platform there to which the energy is being generated. I mean, I was amazed. It's like it's a film trick. All the same, it is real. Since the bohun was installed, the solar bohun, it has never failed one day, rain or sun. And uh, nobody had gotten any enteric or cholera disease because the water is, is pure. Since 2008 and we are in 2012, I have not come here to carry out any maintenance or whatsoever. It is actually maintenance cost free for a period of time, 20 to 50 years. This has run for four years to five years now. If we are to calculate the cost of electricity, you know that in a month you can be charged for 5,000 naira. And you know when you are using three horsepower pump, that's a lot. So you'll be talking about roughly 15 to 20,000 naira for electricity where the current is steady. Then if you want to go further to ensure that this community gets constant water, you need a battery or you need the Lister generator to power the pump. But all this uh, is not there. So comparing electricity, NEPA, and solar system. Oh, solar system is far, far, far better. For me, this is one of the projects I've seen being executed by a Nigerian and it works well. Thank you.